But I was going to say, this is like, it's it, this, you know, this, another phenomenon about auditioning that's uh, hilarious is when you are in the room and you're waiting and there's a person goes in and it's 25 minutes, that person, that they come out and do the thing, like, okay, good. And the next person goes in and 15, 20 minutes go by. And you're conscious of the time that each guy is spending in the room and yeah. you get in there and suddenly you do it and you feel like, okay, that went well. They're like, great, thanks. And you've done like one scene yeah. and you're done. And you walk out the room, there's that, A, that feeling where you're thinking to yourself, what the hell? I was in there for like three minutes, maybe. Is it yeah. just you? And then you try to rationalize it. You're like, maybe time just seemed to pass really quickly because I was in the auditioning room. But when I'm outside of the room, then maybe it doesn't. And then there's the walk of shame to go get your like keys exactly. and like bang or anything. Because all the guys are like, wow, have you ever I was in there for 20 minutes. Yeah. You were in there for about what 25 happened? seconds. What happened to you? <laughs> and I always try to also rationalize because I'm like, okay, either they think I did a really bad job, I or maybe know. I did so amazing that they we just can't change that. Right. There's nothing we can say. I. Yeah, that's the worst. I um, forgot what I was going to say about auditions. It sounds good, though. Yeah. I think that's all we need. I think we got enough from you there. <laughs> I think that was pretty solid. What was I going to say? Um, about, like, you can, like, hear the other people on the audition. That is enough from the worst. When you did like, a comedy bit about that. Sorry, I'm not, but you did a comedy bit about hearing Oh, yeah. People. Did you see that online? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do, like, some stand-up about it. Yeah. Um, about, like people that walk in and try to kind of psych you out, you know, like the guy that, that comes in with like a motorcycle helmet, although he like drove his car there, right. you know, he's like all tussled and he's like, oh, is there, I need to put my motorcycle down on this chair, my motorcycle helmet down on this chair because it needs its own space, you know, and, yeah. and there's the whole idea of like hearing someone because it's like, it like psychs you out a little bit and stuff. I go watch it. It's on YouTube. I'll right? watch it. Yeah, I'll check yeah. it out. I like it. I wanted to say something Do you feel self-conscious about though in those rooms where you know the walls are so thin? Because like, I, I had an audition yeah. where it was all girls and I was the only one reading this one guy's part and all the girls' parts were just very conversational. Yeah. But they would go in the room and I could word for word hear oh, them talking yeah. just being like, well, Molly, I think we should go to the store and buy bread. Really? Yeah, we need some bread. Like, just, I'm like, Crazy. I can hear everything you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> and then yours is like a scream. <laughs> Mine is screaming like, no, God damn it, no, please, just have mercy on me. And it's like three days of like crying oh, and screaming. No. And I get in the room and I'm just thinking of all these girls out yeah. in the room being like, oh, great. Here we go. Ugh. But that is kind of a process of where you have to willfully be able to just shut down a certain part of your brain and say like, all right, screw it. I'm not going to be concentrating on that. It I'm going to concentrate on this exclusively, which yeah. you can do with varying levels of success. I find, I find that when, you know, people always say, oh, it's so, that, that actor's so brave, you know, in their work. And I, and I find that, you know, there, there is a lot of um, um, bravery and, and, and commitment that it takes to when you're when you're actually working. But I feel like auditioning it takes so much more bravery because you're putting yourself out there for someone to say you 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 did a good job or you did a bad job. You know, and with, even more so than um, than acting. You know, when you actually have the job. When you're auditioning, you're you, you know you can tell right away when someone is, you know is like oh okay. Oh, all right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming in. You know, you can tell right away. Oh, that person didn't like that. What I just did, my mm -hmm. choices. You mm -hmm. know, and, and it's so. I don't know. It, it takes a lot more um, chutzpah to kind of go in and audition than than actually having the job. It's and it's. I think it's a totally different skill set. Auditioning and then doing the work. Yeah. They're, they're related in certain respects, but they're very very different. And I think some people, like we were saying before, are incredibly good at auditioning and then not necessarily that great as a performer at the end of the day um, yeah. and vice versa and there are people who just absolutely can't audition but are really nice actors at the end of the day um, and it it's it's just it's, yeah, exactly. it's strange that that is the portal that you have to walk through in order to mm -hmm. be able to do the work and it's it's almost like you know and they, they do classes where they you know there's classes about acting classes then there are specific here is an auditioning class yeah, exactly. and the things to do and not to do and I, I would stay at NYU and I wish we had had audition class we never had audition it's class it's probably invaluable I think it is I think I have you ever gone in and in sat in a casting office as a volunteer to read and things like that Definitely. just to see what it, see I've always wanted to never oh, done yeah. it apparently it's incredibly disturbing. No, it's it's. it's well, I mean, so it's informative, but you also see like you see yes. things, and you, you realize very quickly that oh, that actor should not have. Oh God, he's already yeah, fucked himself. See, he just he exactly. doesn't start reading the lines yet. He's walked in. Yeah, you 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 see that it's it's good to just kind of walk in, you know, be kind of neutral, say hi, don't try to do too much, and just do your thing and walk out. Right. You know, and some I have I've been on the other side of the, on the on the other side of the camera, and it is 
It is very interesting. It is very... Um, I mean, what do you think is the number one, can, if you could even say this, the number one mistake that actors make when they go into it? Like, that you, could, that you could say, like, don't do this, please. I, I think the, the, just kind of on a general note, I think it's, it's and, I, and I've been guilty of this, is, is trying too much. Right. Trying to be their best friend, trying to crack too many jokes. Right. Um, trying to, uh, you know, letting your nerves kind of take over mm -hmm. and, and trying to distract, you know, from that. I think it's best to just kind of come in, hey, how are you? You know, let me, let me do this. And, um, do you think it's important to have your lines memorized? Does it bother you people are just reading off a page if they're doing a great job? I, you know, I think that if you're doing... It depends on the, what you're what you're doing, but yeah, no, I think definitely should be memorized. Yeah. I think you should always hold your your script, but I think you know I'm I'm always memorized. You know, I think that that definitely. Um, I am too, but sometimes I just feel like maybe if I was less concerned and I just went in there and just casually just held a piece of paper that just looked like a badass. Like he doesn't give a shit. Look at that. He just walks. And and, and not necessarily be concerned about getting the lines right. No, not so. No, but you're you're getting the lines right because they're there. You're just reading them off the page. You're just not so concerned with having it memorized and like having created a performance. You know, you're kind of just in there, just doing the thing with the reader. Well, I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think at the end of the day, you have to walk in and you know, even if you, if you rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed it, I think at the end of the day, you had to go in and just you know, do it with a performer. You know, do it with the other, the other reader. You know, I think that, and I've been guilty of this, is kind of like making it what I, you know. Here's my audition. I shaped it like this. This is exactly what I want to bring in, and I bring yeah. it in, and it's there's no life to it. You know, maybe I hit the beats right, but there there's no life to it. You know, auditioning is so weird. That's another thing. I mean, you're reading with somebody who typically is not another actor. And they're like reading like or this. Just reading like, words a piece of paper. And then I love you too. Why, why did you kill my father? Right. That's how I was going to do this scene, though. Anyway, <laughs> when I did that piece, I remember the one you're talking about. I did it exactly like that. Yeah. yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it.